slow steps along the Via Dolorosa in a solemn mass in St. Saviour's Church, the third conference of the Commissaries of the Holy Land ended on Saturday. Following the meetings that marked a week of work, the gathering closed with some important moments of prayer in the places sanctified by the life of Christ and the final recommendation issued by the Minister General, Father Carabayo, to all present. In his final talk, he urged the Commissaries to love Jesus and the Word of God and to adopt the Gospel as a rule of life. With this sensitivity in our hearts, said Father Carballo, the custody can only be at the centre of the activities of the commissaries, whose job is to support it and to make known everywhere the wonderful work of the Franciscans in the Middle East. They are an important part of the mission to the Holy Land. They are friars from the provinces of origin, working for the Holy Land. I would like to thank them heartily for the work that they do, for the pearl of the missions. Ministers, custodians, open the doors of your provinces and your religious houses. It is more blessed to give than to receive, also at a personal level. A province that gives is a province that will receive. A province that closes in on itself is a province that will die. Al centro dei lavori, il ruolo e la missione dei frati minori al servizio della Terra Santa, l'impegno della comunicazione riguardo i luoghi santi, l'importanza delle relazioni con diocesi e gruppi ecclesiali internazionali. Temi ripresi anche nel vademento in finale, una bozza per il ministro generale, una scatola da riempire i cui contenuti devono essere completati e organizzati. Ma questo è compito di tutti i commissari. It's not only about preserving the holy sites. Everywhere you go, they say, here Jesus was conceived, here he was born, here he died. And this is quite extraordinary. But it's also about maintaining those living stones that are the Christian communities who try to survive with great effort. And not only survive, but also strengthen their presence and their faith. We Franciscans present ourselves as witnesses. Our style is to lead the pilgrims through the route that we propose, having the same experience that Francis had and which many Christian pilgrims have made over the centuries. And in a way, they too became pilgrims on Friday afternoon when they joined the weekly Way of the Cross, a tradition going back to St. Francis. The commissaries walked on the same stones upon which Jesus carried the cross before reaching the place of his death and burial. On Saturday morning, Mass was celebrated at the convent of St. Saviour, presided by the Minister General and the Custis of the Holy Land. This is your mission, said Father Carabay in his homily to encourage the faith of pilgrims and the Son of God, disposing the hearts of all to a personal encounter with Jesus, so that all may adhere to his person. At the end, certificates of participation and symbols of the custody were given to everyone to strengthen and adapt our mission to the new times and new needs of the Church. This sums up the message given to the commissaries at the conclusion of the conference. Yet there is another important aspect which must never be neglected and which must always continue for everyone. At the headquarters of the Commissariat in Krakow, at the Shrine of St. Kazmir, we celebrate Mass with the friars and friends of the Holy Land, where we pray for the custody and for peace in the Middle East.